It continues this Friday night as Bodie declares war in Valentine Park. I kept on the words for what I'm trying to say, but I'm hoping that you know. I may not be smart, but one thing I'm good at is making things grow. I know what to say in my heart, but when I see you, I just fall apart. We may be beginners, but we could be winners. Meet me in Valentine Park. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Billy. Yeah, get that down here. Yeah. Eggs, bacon, beans, tomatoes, and your favourite black pudding. <laughs> Where's Tom? Oh, I don't know. He's probably still asleep in the shed. Oh, well, I don't blame him having a lie-in after last night. That storm was enough to wake the dead. Oh, Billy. Ooh, ooh, it is lovely having you here. <laughs> you won't go away again, will you? No, no, no. Look, Gran, is there any change in the situation with my clothes? Are you still holding them hostage? I'm going to mangle them. <laughs> mangle them? One word with you, Max. Oh, you're wet. Wet? I'm saturated. Now, I've had it up to here sleeping in that flaming shed. Don't tell me the roof leaked. <laughs> leaked? It was like sleeping under the Niagara Falls. I mean, I've been dry swimming. Well, what about that Vector Scout survival pamphlet I gave you? How to insulate and waterproof a leaking roof. Did you not try that? Oh, yes, I tried it. In fact, I did everything it said. I suspended buckets from the ceilings below all the leaks. I nailed great blocks of wood between all the roof rafters. I even went outside and put a great waterproof sheet in over the whole flaming shed. And then I weighed it down with bricks and logs. So? What happened? Well, the roof collapsed! <laughs> Same thing happened to me and the scout. God. Well, look, if it's any consolation, Tom, I haven't had much sleep myself. I had things on my mind. Yeah, not six tons of debris you have. <laughs> now, you just... Uh, here, just a minute. That's my dressing gown. My pyjamas are still being mangled. <laughs> I've had enough. I mean, I've been slung out of my room because Mrs. Giles thinks you're her grandson. I, I caught my dad a cold in a leaky shed, and now you're wearing my dressing gown. Well, that's it. When Mrs. Giles comes in here, I'm going to tell her that you're not her grandson. You are. Oh, I must have been mad letting you stay here under these false pretenses. Grandson, indeed. Tom, you can't. Where am I going to sleep? Oh, you've had your chances, yes. Tom, you can't. Oh, can't I? Well, you can squirm as much as you like, but now the hand is on the other foot. <laughs> but here she comes. Now, just let's see you wriggle out of this one, Billy boy. There you are, Tom. I thought I heard your voice. Oh. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you're all right. Oh, yes, How well... How did that happen? Well, uh, it was a slight accident, Mrs. Giles. Mm. You see, the shed roof collapsed on me during the thunderstorm last night. How awful. Good job we had nothing of any value in there. <laughs> Mrs. Giles. Look, I think I'll just pop upstairs. You stay where you are. This concerns you. Mrs. Giles, there is something which I think you ought to know about oh. Billy here. About my Billy? <laughs> well, what is that then, Tom? What is it about my Billy? Well, that is the whole point, you see, Mrs. Giles. He is not your Billy. You know, he's an imposter. He's not who he says he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, who is he then? Mrs. Giles. Uh... <laughs> well, who is he then, Tom? <coughs> Mrs. Giles. I'm very sorry to have to be the one to tell you this, but Billy here is, in fact, my godson, Max.
and his funny little way. <laughs> George, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I don't mind your funny little way. <laughs> good, good. Right. That'll teach you, won't it, eh? And if I catch any of your little gang round here again, I'll rip their handlebars off as well. So they better steer clear of me. <laughs> Go on in. On your bike. <laughs> Bell at the door, bell at the door, hello, ma. Doyle, over. Well spotted, dog, good surveillance work. Keep it up. Oh, and keep an eye out for them toddlers on tricycles. <laughs> Roger, Bordy. Oh, and Baldy, over. Yes, Doyle, over. Do I have to stay in the lake all morning? Only the doctor bites on your legs, Dino. Wait, wait, Doyle, you did volunteer for undercover work. Yeah, undercover, not underwater. <laughs> This him, son? Yeah, that's him, Dad. I oh, understand you let my little Darren's tyres down. No, that's not very nice, is it? Page 24, subsection B. Cycling shall be at the discretion of the local authority. There you are. But don't think you've got away with it. Got away with what? I'm not sleeping in my conservatory for you or anyone else. Especially not in a hammock. <laughs> now, <laughs> I want my room back, so you tell her tonight. Yeah, but you know what she's like, Tom. Never listens to a word anybody says. Oh, now, come on, No, Matt. you tried and you failed, didn't you? No, I knew it. I knew you'd be trouble the moment you arrived. You've always been trouble. I've not. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, what about that girl you bought the flowers for? What girl? Well, you know very well what girl. The girl is a dress you found by knocking on all the houses in her street. The one whose mother phoned the police when you went round there. I mean, her name wouldn't happen to be Claire by any chance, would it? Well, what do you know? <laughs> well, I know, Max, because scrawled in noticeable detail on the brick house wall, near where you were pruning yesterday, was a heart with Max loves Claire in the middle of it. <laughs> what makes you think it's me? Just because my name's Max and I happen to know someone called Claire doesn't make me number one suspect, does it? Well, yes, it does, actually. <laughs> Because whoever it was spelled Claire wrong, and that has to be you. <laughs> so wipe it off! Well, it wasn't me. Anyway, I can spell Claire. Oh, yeah, go on, let's spell it. All right. C. That's a good start. <laughs> C-L-A-I-R. No, 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 no. C-L-A-R. C-L-A-R. Right, I'll wash it off later. <laughs> right, that's it. From now on, it's out and out war. Hey, what's this? Look what they've done to my rule book. <laughs> that's the way they want it. If that's the way they want it, then it's okay, bar me. Now, 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 now Bodie, you're not going to do anything you're going to regret, are you? I won't regret nothing, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> they might, but I won't. Yes, yeah, all right, Bodie. And I'll say this much. The next cyclist I'll catch is going to be very sorry indeed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that should be enough for you. Yeah, yeah, that's should, that's okay. should be all right, yeah. Um, Off you Dirk, go. Dirk, do you want to sit down? Yes, oh, great. No, no, Dirk is just leaving, aren't you, Dirk? Am I? Yes. Oh. <laughs> right. Now, are you going to tell Mrs
Look, and don't you go quiet on me. You're not too old for me to put it across my knee, you know. You wouldn't dare. Oh, if you don't tell Mrs. George, you won't be able to sit down for a week. You wouldn't dare. Oh, wouldn't I? Hey, it's kinky, that is. <laughs> now, don't you be impudent with me. I wasn't in the desert rats for nothing, you know. Excuse me. Uh, there are tennis courts available. Hello, Claire. Hello, Matt. Uh, uh, hello, Matt. This is Tom. This is Tom. Oh, oh. How do you do? Hello. Uh, tennis court, no problem. You're playing by yourself? Oh, no, no, my, my friend's just popped off to the loo. How long for? <laughs> but to her, why? Is there a time limit? <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant, how long do you want the court for? Oh, I'm sorry, um, an hour and a half if possible. <clears throat> Is that right? Oh, don't matter. <clears throat> <laughs> and, uh... Thanks for the roses. They were lovely. Oh. Good. Do you want me to leave? No. Oh, uh, you haven't got any odd balls, have you? <laughs> You're talking to one. <laughs> is, there, is there somewhere safe I can park this? She's got a bike, Tom. Amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, but bring it in here. I'll look after it. Hey, now, just a minute. This isn't a bike shed. It's a good job she didn't come on a horse. <laughs> Shut up, Tom. Oh, beautiful. Uh, the, 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 the bike. It, it's, it's a beauty. Perhaps it doesn't stop. <laughs> oh, something wrong with the brakes? Oh, I don't know. I think they need adjusting or something. Well, look, I'm afraid I can't let you ride that round the park. Not as the park's elected safety officer. Park's elected what? <laughs> I've got some tools over by the bowling green. While you're having a game of tennis, I'll give it a quick service. I haven't got much on today. <laughs> Excuse me. I can think about half a dozen things you should be doing. Balls. What is balls? Oh. Wrong, keep your man. Oh, I love that one, Max. That one's got a hole in the <laughs> Oh. Not now, Doyle. For God's sake, son. Not now. 